this is George Sawtooth. I'm back for another video. I met here at the Lynn Grove Cemetery, uh, Greeley, Colorado. Lynn Grove Cemetery was purchased on June 1st, 1874. The owner was Joseph Shatuk. He named his farm Lynn Grove Farm, so the city kept the name. It was originally 45 acres and bought for $500. Today, the cemetery covers 65 acres. It's a beautiful cemetery too. This huge tree here. I saw a squirrel running up this tree earlier. But I'm out here, I'm gonna look at two, two graves that I'm gonna talk about. This is a peaceful cemetery. There's nobody out here. I wanna show you this old tombstone here that you can't even read anymore. Look at this thing. I mean, you can't even read this anymore. It almost looks like it was made out of sandstone or something. Limestone? Woodcock? George Woodcock? Who? I can't read that. Died 18 something. That's an old, old tombstone. I'm gonna come out, look at a, a grave that there's 10 men buried all in one grave. There was a circus train. Uh, they had been, they had a show up in Fort Collins and they were having a show here in Greeley and then they had a train. 10 circus men, August 29th, 1884. So they were on a train 25 miles per hour. Those trains were slow. And um, the train had no electricity, so the men had to use uh, matches or torches to see in the night. There were a couple guys wanted to play a card game at 12.30 at night. Uh, they lit a torch. The man had unfortunately put the torch down and the whole um, railroad car started burning and uh, that railroad car could fit 60 people but uh, it was the Orton Orton's Anglo-American Circus Train and they were gonna have a show in uh, here in Greeley and they were um, coming from Fort Collins the train started on fire near near the Kodak uh, building where the Kodak building is right now I don't I don't know if there's a Kodak building or maybe somebody else is using it now but it's in between Greek Greeley and uh, Fort Collins in the town of Windsor so 10 men died during this uh, ordeal The railroad car slept 60 people in three tier bursts on each side of the car. With no electricity, they used torches, matches, and lanterns to find their way. With both escape doors blocked by flames, only a small window was clear to attempt to escape. <clears throat> the men outside began carrying water because the engineer, he found, uh, he looked back and he saw that it was on fire. So he put on the brakes to try to go save those guys and whatever water that they found near the tracks they tried to pour onto the fire unfortunately they couldn't douse that fire the heat was so intense it buckled the steel under the car meanwhile hearing the screams of the men inside the car the engineer uncoupled the engine sped to Greeley to find a doctor there he returned he found Dr. Jesse Hawes and then returned to the scene of this horrific uh, fire but it was too late the story in the Greeley Tribune was headlined 10 men roasted alive <laughs> boy horrible way to die went into horrid details of burn injuries and graphic descriptions of the scene while the coroner's inquest determined the fire was probably started by one man carrying a torch through the car officials couldn't find a reason the fire spread so quickly but then they found out that the people had been storing highly flammable naphtha in the car. 
I guess they must have used that for some of their shows or something, or who knows what to nap the blocking both the uh, the block both doorways so the men were trapped inside. The uh, the newspaper this new newspaper article the Greeley Tribune. They are also critical of the circus manager who can you continued on to Denver with the train, leaving the 10 men dead buried at, at the expense of the county. Crazy. Now they didn't even they didn't even pay for this these guys' graves. The county had to. And uh, the dead were all circus workers. Uh, many of them were drifters picked up along the way, and no one knew them very well. The names included Alex McLeod, John Kelly. And so some of the men didn't even know, they were only known by their first names, Andy, Frank, George, Smithy, and Frenchy. The day after the fire, the dead were buried in a large seven foot by 10 foot coffin. And it was then put in a pauper section of Lindgrove Cemetery. A small cement marker provided by the, identified the grave of more, for more than 100 years. And then finally, uh, this stone was put on, donated, and uh I'm not sure who donated small marker but they finally could identify some of the guys and they put place the stone on probably about 20 years ago I think it was so man 1884 that uh circus uh car got train car got burned with uh, those poor guys inside oh what a horrible way to die August 29, 1884, and it was called the um, Orton's Anglo-American Circus. It was a traveling circus. Let's see. If, I think they had, I thought I had listed, I think they had lions and uh, sea lions, uh, hyenas as well. But that's how people had, in the back in the old days, there was no TV, no internet, so... We, went all, we all went to the circus. And uh, Ringling Brothers shut down a few years ago too. So really no... All, only circuses now involve people and acrobats. August 29, 1884. Windsor, Colorado. This happened at the old Kodak. Where the old Kodak building is now. On railroad tracks. Burlington Northern Railroad Tracks. Tragic part of history of Colorado this is the old Lynn Grove Cemetery 65 acres and there's another guy I want to talk about on this beautiful day January 1st 2024 all right God bless take care